Hello and welcome to this week's Human Design Energy Update. And when you see I am in the leather jacket vibes, then better get prepared. We are approaching this full moon on Sunday and it's a full moon in Aquarius. I'm in Aquarius. I feel the vibes already and we are closing the hypergate this Sunday and I just got home from a business slash energy um, self-care road trip and I tell you I got a delivery I got a delivery for my party this Sunday there is a party a celebration coming this Sunday hello Marco hello hello say hi if you're watching this live and say hi if you're watching the replay um, better say watch till the end because the energy update is fire it's already fire it is important for you to know what i'm going to share with you um if you want to harness this week's energy the sun and the earth gates are going to talk about and also what you need to know for this full moon in aquarius it's going to be a very potent moon because it is the second moon this month I also am here live on Instagram. Hello, hello. Say hi in the comments if you're watching this live. And if you're watching me for the first time, let me know. Also, let me know your human design. What are you? I am a projector 6'2 with a defined heart energy and an open spleen and an open G center, a uh, splenic projector. Um, open G means I can switch identities in terms of what I channel, what I'm feeling vibing with I just dress myself and so the energy is leather jacket vibes and what is that rocking vibes hairstyle yeah hi Catherine hi Elizabeth hi Carola I always say I want to say Elizabeth because it's your first uh, name here so who's here on Instagram I want to connect more on Instagram here also with you girls um so I'm a spring projector too. Hi, Vibrant Vixen. So Vibrant Vixen, what is your name? Like you have to change your title into your true name if you want to, if you want to create a personal brand, I tell you, so people get to know you right away. But I would love, to, Vibrant Vixen is also a good vibe, <laughs> definitely. I don't know what I'm, who I'm channeling today. I am but I'm feeling good. How are you feeling? I feel like this whole last week was such a deep purge of something that was holding me back and it's made so much space for so many new things that came through. And it just reminded me of really who I am and what I'm standing for. And this unapologeticness. Melissa, good. <laughs> I'm distracted by all the, all the people, but I'm happy that you're here. Um, Catherine, could you do me a favor, please, and share this into the group? Thank you. And um, it reminded me definitely of something that I teach, I stand for, that there's always, yes, the message is also for everyone. It's not only for cleaning projectors. It's for everyone who has a vision, for everybody who has a vision and feeling that there is more, but you have no, no clarity, this is for you. And I right away say you tell you, you don't need clarity, but you need to be reminded of what I went through as well, is that there's always a deeper lever, layer of yourself that you can show the world. And it is nothing you need to become. But hi, Cynthia, another projector here. But it is all about you embodying it, you stepping into it, you saying yes to yourself, you being unapologetic about who you are, what you want in life. And oh my God, I'm tearing up because it is really what I went through as well. It's like doing the damn work as well, doing the work for the sake of your soul and for God and for your legacy and for figuring out like even more who you are and why you're here. It is a process. It is a process and it is nothing you can do by sitting at home and doing the alignment work. So we're going right into the juiciness of it. 
And if something resonates with you, I love, my open throat loves to interact, then let me know in the comments what vibes with you, what resonates, hi Wendy, what resonates with you, give me an amen to something that really clicks so that I that I have a conversation with you today. So, because we need to conversate, uh, we need to talk, <laughs> really talk, real talk here, truth talk. I feel so, so excited for my dreams, but also just feel so drained and need a lot of rest. Yeah, so here's the thing with the rest. And I get you. So, I get you that you're gonna burn out because of all the things that you think you should be doing and you're actually not doing your sole purpose work and you're not trusting yourself and you get busy and exhausted with all the things that you think you should be doing and most importantly with the thoughts with your relationship to the work and so what i notice is a lot that a lot of women are escaping into oh i need more rest but it's especially as projector and i felt it too I stepped back a little bit, I pulled back a little bit, I did not show up so much and I was feeling worse. And so, yes, so when you rest, then you feel more exhausted because you have been pushing maybe and doing things that were not so in alignment. But then I also ask myself, what am I missing? And I'm missing what I really love to do and it is the work. So there is work and there is soul work, okay? And there, if you're not lit, doing, if you're not lit, but lit up right now, ask yourself, what are you missing? And if you're feeling drained and exhausted, then you are not doing enough of your soul work. And so we need to have a different conversation around work as well. So. Let me look at my notes because it is important. So I took some notes. So I want to get really into the juiciness of this energy. So we have the sun. One thing I want before I go into it. Ah, okay. I'm all over the place. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not trying to be professional. I just want to follow the vibe. Okay. So, and this is exactly what I stand for. And what I went through as a sixth line is like, okay, there's a deeper layer of embodiment. There's a deeper layer of just being me and apologetically. What I want to stand for and what I want to embody and role model to you is that it is both. It is, there is the energetics, there is the alignment work, yes. But there's also the work that we need to do to get our purpose out there. Thank you, Melissa. Melissa, if you're not yet in my community, come over to Facebook because there is gonna happen, there is a party happening because this is what I wanna do. Okay, let me get to the first point here. Okay, structure, third eye. Sunday is full moon. Sunday, I have a secret celebration, a secret celebration party, a secret celebration, a secret celebration party. And you're invited, okay? So if you're not yet, in my Facebook group, then DM me, okay? Because this live here on Instagram gonna be taken down. Um, I, I don't save it, um, but all the juiciness is in my Facebook group and there is a something happening on Sunday and you are invited, okay? DM me, just Melissa, send me a message and I will send you the link for the invitation, okay? Here, um, I'm not playful. I don't play. <laughs> I play hard. <laughs> okay. I define my play is, is a, I play hard. I'm just me, you know? Um, and I feel very good in being me. And I went through something over the weekend where I really was like allowing myself to go through so that I could be more me. So on Sunday, we're gonna celebrate something. And if you're watching this live or the replay here on my personal page or here on, on, on Instagram and you wanna be invited, then drop party in the comments, okay? We will send you the link. Either me or Catherine um, will send you the link. Okay, so that was first thing I wanna say. Second thing, let's go into a little bit of story why I came with this energy update. 
So I went through something and then I reminded myself and studied my, my chart and look at what I'm feeling, what I'm going through, what I'm downloading, what I'm what is it here? And it is really that I want to encourage you to look at which part of you are not fully owning yet. And let me know in the comments here, which part of you is it really that you feel you want to show the word more because this is a sign posed from your soul that this is what you need to do to follow your purpose, to fulfill your destiny, to get to your destiny, to fulfill, to live your design. And so it is really one thing that I notice is the decisiveness and discipline. And then we'll put up here on Instagram a post later and you have to hear on Facebook, you're going to read this post later also on my Instagram. Um, because on my Insta story is all the juicy behind the scenes is happening. So get more onto my Instagram, onto my stories to really see how I live my design, how I build my business and and all the work that is required and so more behind the scenes is there. But what I got reminded is really that it is about owning more of what you want in life. It's my defined heart. So if you're my world, whatever you put into the comments here now, but 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 with my one-on-one -on -one with you, it's happening. Yes. Yes. That's what makes me so happy. So good to hear that, Mariko. We're always get expanded by our mentors and that's so true and that what is happening is it is a on a it's an when you're in my world you get more unapologetic about who you know you are and owning that the powerful women that you are and so what i want to bring to the table is that it also requires a certain discipline to stay in alignment with her and show up as her. And that, not gonna lie, requires work. And what I see and what I always get around about is the lack of decisiveness. And when I mean decisiveness, it is really this following through with what you want because wanting something is not choosing. It's not deciding, it's just wanting. It's just wanting. And it's kind of a thing that kind of evaporates into the cosmos. Hi, <laughs> Alessia, hello. Oh, Alessia. I think it is, wanting is just like wanting but it's not deciding, it's not doing. And you've got to do something, pilot. You got to do something to create an action. Hi, Brittany. So many projectors are here on, I love that. So what this full moon on Sunday is all about is that you got to stop playing the role as a performer to please others and step into the role really as a creator to be the woman and to create the life that you know you're meant to live. And even if you don't know exactly how that's going to look like, you have to follow this pull and the feeling and the, the vision is not something that requires clarity. It requires trust in trusting your feeling of, okay, what is the right next step to take? What is really the thing that also requires me to look at? What am I avoiding to look at? Where do I need to be more on a, like really radically honest with myself and own my shit and look at my shit and work through my shit so that I become really more myself, who I really am. And so there is a gap happening between a lot of women who say I want more and then there's the lack of integrity and and a radically honest honesty to do the work and to put the discipline into 
to really become her. Hi, Nicole, another projector, I love it. To become her. And so this full moon, um, and I see, uh, I see a lot of women saying something and then not being fully, um, like the energy is not behind it. I don't see the actions really what it takes, hi Natalie, what it takes. And when I mean what it takes, it means um, what it really takes. Like really there is, there is always a deeper layer, layer to go into being really honest. Are you really doing whatever it takes? And I, and that means <laughs> ego check, ego check, ego check in terms of, okay, what am I not available for? Because, because, because where are not you, where are you not aware? What are things that you're not available for? Not because you like, I have standards and I don't go there. But what I mean is, for example, when you, so um, just Melissa, this is for every type, okay? This is not only for projectors. It is for every type, for projectors, for every type. So just listen and, and take, take, take the juice of it. You will get there. So when I mean whatever it takes is, um, <sighs> what are you available for? What it means is, what are you, where are things, especially, especially when it comes to money flow, where you say, I want something, I want to invest in a mentor, by the, for example, I want to invest in a mentor, I want to invest in my business, I want to um, go bigger, I want to have a certain experience. But you then say, yeah, but I'm not available for taking on a side job, a bridge job, or looking for a better job that I have now. Because there's certain ego situation happening with like, no, 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 I want to, I want to, I, I, I'm not, I don't want to go and work for someone else. And I get it. I'm, I'm the same. Like we are, if you're, if you're independent and you, if you really feel free, then ah, working for someone else can be like, mm. but here's the thing. If this gets you one step closer and faster to where you want to be, then this is just done. And this is ego getting into your way to be too good to get a job or to just this is this is false false ego so i did that too like to get where i am now to be honest it takes work and it takes work in terms of time commitment and investment in mentors and all that and nobody is really actually talking about this because everybody like the, the tendency right now is we just work on our alignment and we do the healing work and we do the light work and we do all the other things but actually saying I own it that I have a side job that gives me that, that acts as an investor in my business and so I have part-time here but I am able to have create money to invest in my business I did that I did that and I I came up with the money, I created it. So what this full moon is all about, stop performing and to please someone else, like even expectations and even yourself, your ego, stop pleasing your ego's beliefs, what you think is accepted um, to build your business, to grow your business. And I think that we need to shift and change actually the beliefs around and your stories and the relationship to loans, to credit cards, to debt and to side jobs. Also in this industry, talk about this and say, okay, I gonna get a job because I want to invest in my business and my mentor. So it is about not, not pleasing the ego that you hold inside in terms of no, I'm 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 not available for this anymore because I don't want this, I don't want to work for someone else, and I totally get it. But once you shift your perspective on it and you're suddenly available for money coming in always in all ways, universe, I wanna I have this big dream, I wanna build this business, I wanna see myself on stage, I want that, I wanna work with this mentor, or I want to 
join this mastermind or I want to get this course or whatever it is. I do whatever it takes. <laughs> and when, when do whatever it takes means you're going to get a job and you create the money, you are the creator. You are the creator when you come up with and you are available for money flowing in. Because then the universe will give you an amazing job that maybe is an agency where you are creative and working on stuff that is related to what you will do anyways. And maybe you meet your future client there. Or, okay, my phone just died. So Instagram just said <laughs> goodbye. I'm just here now on Facebook. The word is so misunderstood. Thanks for sharing. Yes. Still looking for a bridge job. Okay. I, know, I see it, Wendy. And I see your effort. Good. Go, go, put it out there. Talk to people um, that you're looking for a job, um, that you want, like, share even on social media. Like, there's always more that we can do, and the universe will give you the hints and opportunities when you open up. When you are available for what you want, then the how looks maybe different than you think it should look like, but it is always the path of least resistance when you open up and say, show me universe, show me universe. I want this big thing and I'm willing to do whatever it takes. And I'm and I want to create the money with you. And I want to create this amazing experience with you. So let me know what is the right next step. And then somebody comes up and invites you into something, into a collaboration or into a job or whatever it is, or and wants to support you with money and you you're you were too afraid to ask for a credit or a loan or whatever you know wealth and this is what i when i shifted um my belief around wealth is really living in money flow and being open for money in all always and always and so debt is for example nothing bad it is just having a different relationship to it because you stay in the flow. You can build your business. And if you had a brick and, brick and mortar business, you would go into, would be more available for certain debt or credit because you would maybe buy a house or buy land or, you know, in, uh, get come up with investors who invest in your business and be partners in your business. So it is a mindset thing. It is a mindset thing. And what is going to happen with this new moon, <laughs> with this full moon, is that the pleasing of anything, like people, expectations, your own ego, um, pleasing your not being in alignment with or in integrity with your commitments, will backfire. Will backfire. Because these are all low energies. These are all ego energies. And you will radiate that out and you will have more of this attracted in. So that we will come into a lot of Uranus energy on Sunday. It will, it means expect the unexpected. Expect either shit hits the fan or amazing things come happen, come up. What are you available for? What are you available for? And so it is really about a lot of about integrity, a lot about honesty, a lot about looking where are you still people pleasing to be understood or be correct or do it in a way that even you all your own person your own self thinks no we we don't do that anymore we don't go back and get a job anymore or we don't ask for money or we don't say whatever it is look at yourself and 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 also look at your people look at who's around you who's affecting you who is affecting your thoughts who's affecting your energies and then because it is really about this shifting um into okay i'm ready i'm i'm I, I, oh, this thing about i'm ready i'm ready. i cannot hear it anymore if someone tells me i'm ready i gonna vomit because it is like I don't, I, I, I don't see that you're right. Like, this is like, what, what does it mean? It doesn't mean nothing. It doesn't mean nothing if it's not action and action. It looks, the how looks different. I don't say that you've got to do it my way. Absolutely not. But what I want to say, and I'm really honest, and I want to share more about how I started that whole shift here to come here. And this is, this is because there are always people who have opinions and who project things on you and they say, you had it so easy and you had this support and you had that. No, it's not true. The, the thing is that I did it. 
I did it and I always came up with a solution. Nobody, like this is entrepreneurship and so many people want to buy, build an online business but they're not entrepreneurs, they don't get what it really means. And that means that you are creating the own, your own solutions. You're not waiting for it. You're not waiting for time. You're not saying, I have so many things going on with school and kids and family. You create it. You create it. You make space for it. There is no, if you say you're all in, you have a vision and you have a goal, then you come up with a solution. Or otherwise, don't complain that you're not there yet where you want to be. Then it's okay, fine. Then it's okay, fine. And I give you the heat and the fire now because I love you so much. Because I deeply care. Otherwise, if I would not care, I had better things to do than being on the phone here and talking to you, right? Um, no, I do it because I care about my people and I see you. And I see you not moving. When I see people hanging out in other people's comments and instead of posting more their own things, you're not doing your work. When I see people saying I want something, but then getting distracted by life, life is always happening, but it is about becoming the woman who can handle it all. And I tell you, it takes work and it takes tears and it takes sleepless nights and it takes years where your business makes, doesn't make more money than you spend. At the beginning, I was investing continuously all the time and not making that money. It was always flowing. It was all, and this is important, the money needs to flow. So I was investing, I was making money, but it was like equal. That's normal at the beginning, but nobody's talking about this anymore because the, the grid is so, oh no, we don't grind anymore. We don't hustle anymore. No, we only be in our feminine and we are magnetic and we do the unsexy work, right? And then the money falls from the sky. No. And so you will see me showing up even more the next, from the next week on. I have plans. I have, I'm working on the behind the scenes. I want to go in even more to support you more. But I want to say, to be honest, I have a whole Facebook group where I am willing to support you and you can ask free questions all the time. But are you posting anything? Are you posting anything? Are you asking questions? Um, no. So I, I talked about this so often. It is, uh, I'm happy to support you. I'm not available for support in my DMs because my DMs are for my clients, okay? I have clear boundaries in that. But I have a free community where I give support if you come up and do the first step and ask for it. If I don't see you doing it, you're not doing whatever it takes. As I was starting and even now, I squeeze everything out of my mentor. I am in, in the boxers every day. I am soaking up, I, I watch master classes, I watch, I do the courses, I am in masterminds, I um, have a couple of different coaches and mentors and different things. I work on myself so much because I'm grinding it, I'm squeezing it, I'm like, like here is a melon, yeah? And I'm squeezing everything out and I'm, I'm asking everything, like I'm, I'm willing to improve. I don't think I need it but I'm so keen and learning more. And yes, sometimes there's overwhelm, like, oh shit, I need to learn this, I need to learn this, in terms of, yes, because I wanna get better here, I wanna get better here, and I wanna explore that. So we need to do the work around, you don't, don't feel bad, don't feel bad, and you think you need someone else. Go into excitement and about, okay, I'm here, let's do it, I'm excited, I want to learn more, show me. Okay, where can I dive in? If you don't have the money, squeeze everything out of free content. I get, I coach you every day in my post. You can comment and you can engage. If you're not doing it, it's your choice. I, I just want to, here's my projector. This is the big screen. I'm now going more into creating my own show. I want to do a, uh, I, I want to have my own show so that you get even more heat and fire. But what you do with it is up to you, okay? But as a projector, I'm now projecting it on the big screen because we don't have time. If you don't get your finances, your business, your emotions, your relationship, your health up by 2025, you're out. You're out. 2025 is ending a nine-year cycle. We are now in year five, and it's going to be more intense year six, seven, eight. And nine. So don't think that was just lockdown and we're just talking about the V and the V. It's out. You are, the, the world's gonna be different and there were two sides, there will be two worlds 
And if you're still in the old, <laughs> you're out. I tell you. I don't, don't talk so much about here because they are listening. If you want to learn more, come into my closer community and I will prepare something outside of social media where I share the juiciness of all what's going on and what's, what you're going to expect. So we are working on it. That's my big vision. But coming down to the core and this full moon is something where you can really release a lot of ego. A lot of ego and letting go of your false belief that should look in a certain way and going all in and squeezing it all out. I had no idea that I talk about lemons today, but that was is really important to know because what's coming on here this week is gate 29 and gate 30. So the sun in, is in gate 29. Boxer, please. Yeah. Now that was Carola, you are in, you are in my comment in my one on one. You are like if you. If you're in my one-on-one, -on -one, you also get it at first. And then, yeah. But, um, if, but if this being, so with this being said, in sep September 1st, I start a six-week intensive. If you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me um, and don't want to or don't cannot go into the investment for the big one-on-one, -on -one, the VIP, the six weeks is amazing. We're going to look at your business and we go through everything, like from your vision to your message, to your, from, to your branding, your messaging, offer creation, social media selling, soul client attraction. Um, I will share more on Sunday in the party about the whole six weeks because it's exactly how I built my business and it's the five-step formula you need, the strategy energetics and leadership that's happening in the six weeks so for the six weeks there's a payment plan two four and six months so if you really feel drawn to my energy if you want to go all in if you want to really uh, amp up your business and get into everything aligning everything that you have the strategy you already have the offers you already have or even if you don't have offers and building it really on solid ground based on your human design this is the container for you. You have we have weekly strategy calls on Zoom where I teach you the foundations of how I run my business, the strategy, the energetics about human design, and then about how you can embody it and have to embody it to be shown shown and seen as a leader. And you have Voxer one on one with me the whole six weeks. And I tell you, when you're in my Voxer, things shift so fast. Okay. So message me if you feel like, yeah, I want to I wanna move, let's do it, six weeks, I'm in, then I'm so excited to see you in my DMs. Message me, okay? So because we have what you're going to feel this week is channel 29, look at your chart, look at if you're a sacral or even if you don't are not a sacral, define sacral, 29 is in the sacral. It is the gate of yes saying yes, saying yes to yourself. And you might also feel the energy of, I feel I, I feel a fire in me. I feel a passion rising. I feel something like, you see me, I, right? I don't have a defined, but we all now, even if you have an undefined, we feel more the passion rising, the forward moving, okay? 29 is the gate of, um, it's also connected to the identity center if the channel is connected it's the gate of discovery so that means if you it's about saying yes to life it is about saying yes to um, desires so that you discover who you are and where you are heading and what your um, soul purpose is and really tapping into that and life gives you this as a sacral you respond all the time to um, and you say yes to all the things. So saying yes to yourself is um, important, but then it is about owning your desires. It's about being yet unapologetic about your desires. It is also about holding your standards and holding yourself above all others. Your decisions have your back and nobody needs to understand. You don't have to uh, apologize or explain or convince 
or anything. It's about you and then you take doing whatever it takes to do to make it happen. I have the channel. Yes. It's my unconscious earth. Okay. So it's also part of your incarnation cross. So now Anna, <coughs> my open throat is like, <coughs> we need fuel. So now it is about um, <clears throat> looking at where is it pulling you, Anna? Where is the direction? What can you discover without expectations? It is because the earth is, so this is the sun gate. And so we look at the earth gate as well is all in the emotional center. So look all of you into your emotional center. Your emotional center has gate 30. Is it defined or not? Even if you are an undefined or open in your emotional center, like I am, I have it defined. So now I'm feeling it. So the last two days was all the emotions, all the feelings are holy crap, what's going on? And so what this is all about, the 30 is you want to feel experience being a human means you have a human experience and life is about experience but experiencing it through emotions so this is really about being in the experience because of the experience and not because of an outcome and because it is eventually connected to the 41 in the root and the 41 is the first gate in the new year of the human design. It's all about newness, innovation, forward movement, um, fantasy, new images, vision. I have it in my incarnation cross. And what you see me, I have a vision. I, when you come into my world, you will get more clear into your, in your vision. And also the drive is suddenly there. The root is the pressure center and it gets you going. Who has it defined here? Share with me in the comments. You're a little bit quiet. I think I... <laughs> <laughs> you're maybe in shock right now okay so the um because this it requires a certain patience and focus because if you want to create a new vision and have innovation and forward movement you cannot be distracted by all the things and especially the ones who have the root open wow anna okay Anna, I, I think I even have your chart still here in my system um, from our reading ones. Let me check. I don't know. Anna Luna, Anna Luna, Anna Luna. No. I have to check. I cannot find it at, at the uh, at the glimpse. But yeah, but Anna. Yes, Natalie, you are a manifestor, so you definitely have no sacral, but now you maybe feel more passion because even if you have it undefined, you will feel it a little bit more. So the 41 is really then the gate of um, the, the channel is about um, a little bit about patience because for everyone who has a defined part 30 to 41, yes. So if you have it now active, the thing is that you are more the visionary and you're like, I, I already wanted to go there, but why is nobody coming with us? And so this is now about leadership. Do you know that I, every night I'm sitting here, I'm like, especially as a projector, I'm like, why do that don't see it? Why, why is nobody coming with me? Why is nobody do, walking like I do? Or not, not, not nobody, but you know, not as many as I would like to impact. So, um, so it means, so with Natalie, what it means is I have part 30 to 41. What does it mean? Like, which part do you have active? Where is the hanging gate coming out? Otherwise, so it means you are the emotional manifester, right? So you have the 30 active, but not the 41. So you're now feeling a lot about this. I want to have a new experience. So the 4131 is about creating innovation forward movement through emotions. Ah, okay. Do you have 30 active? Do you have the 30 active? 41 hanging. Okay, Wendy. So now the channel is act is, is kind of activated with you. Um, and that means you will feel now more the desire for something new. The desire for something new. 
but through an emotional experience. We want, why do we want, okay, 41 is active. So now it's activated. So what is now happening is that you, um, like we have the fire now burning. We want to say yes to our desires because we want to have a new experience. Okay. Why do we want different? Because we want to feel different. Actually, it is not about buying the Porsche to just have the car, the material thing. It's about to driving it, to feeling it, to being in a different life experience. That's why it's so important because then we, we understand ourselves better. We meet ourselves. We understand who I am and why I'm here only through life experience. That's why I say better do something and you cannot fail in your business because you'll always learn about yourself. You learn what you do want, you learn what you don't want, you learn what you learn what you what is working, what is not working. You only fail if you sit at home and do actually the whole do nothing. Yeah? And when I say with nothing, it means not taking action. Like the, the whole alignment work, the whole journaling, the whole meditation and all these things is is the mindset work and the and, and the healing work is good and needs to be done. But it's not, it's always this and the action going out into the field, into the life experience. And, and even if it feels like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yes, that's welcome to entrepreneurship, right? It is always, I don't know what I'm doing. And I, I don't ask the how, like the path is you, you gotta, you have to figure it out. God is showing you. Um, but this is the thing. Um, yes, exactly. That's, that's. That's exactly it, Natalie. Um, and so what is happening right now, what I see is that um, there's an a a escapism, an avoidance pattern with all the, oh, I, I just need to do more. I need to do, um, oh yeah, you sent me your chart. I need to do more alignment work. I need to go into the 5D. I, I have to do the alignment work, the mindset work and all that. And yes, you have to do it and you have to take action because otherwise it's escapiz escapism and not activism. And so when you only work on your life, you're lazy. <laughs> lazy in terms of you're not doing the real work as well. So the escaping into the healing, escaping into the alignment work is escaping from the shifting of, okay, let's look at what is the work and how can I shift my relationship to working so that I'm not exhausted, that I do the things that light me up, but also I'm willing to experience what's not working because that's part of life yeah, and not giving it a meaning. So the mindset work needs to be then applied to relationship to going all in. And so now we are full circle to what I say, said in the morning, in the, uh, in the morning, <laughs> yes, in the morning, at the beginning of this live, which is already nearly an hour or 45 minutes. Um, to look at, are you really do going all in? Are you, do you really want doing it? And I ask myself this too. I, I'm honest. I'm always like, I'm not working enough. I'm not working enough. I'm not working enough. I'm not doing enough of my soul work and being unapologetic and not caring about how it looks like and how I like, and there's also a little bit of discipline. And so what I'm going to post later is what is underrated in this industry is discipline. It needs discipline to show up even if you're not in the vibe, to be honest. If you're not feeling it and you, you still show up, I bet you feel better afterwards because you feel fucking proud about that you did it. Try it out. Give it a try. Because then, welcome to my life daily on my yoga practice. There was never a yoga practice where I was not afterwards feeling better than before even if i was tired even if i like oh i didn't feel it even if i was sore because i was proud that i did it and this is the benefit of having discipline and that's the same in business and i tell you if you have a physical practice and not meditation not kundalini i mean literally physical lifting weights strong yoga if i do i do yoga it's not yoga it is ashtanga <laughs> it's not just um it is work it is grinding because it shows me my edges it makes me stronger and feels good so that i can show up here for you 
and give you the fire. So that was my show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you're going to go and do something today. And if you're proud, tag me. Tag me on and share it on your stories. Tag me and be proud and let yourself be seen. Okay? That would be incredible. And so three things you need to know. Sunday is the party. Please put party in the comments. Or if you're already inside my Facebook group and you have party in it, you get it. Second, message me for the six weeks. Like, I know if you say, no, I'm good, I'm good. Think about it again, okay? Then we work together or come into my one-on-ones and let's do the whole four-month or six-month thing. And then there are two things coming. And if you join the party, you're going to be first to know just for projectors. And then there's one thing coming only for um sacrals so the projectors is also manifestors so there's non-sacral and there is sacrals two things coming next week and if you join the party you're first to know so this is just a little teaser okay okay if you liked it give me a thumbs up here push the like or some thumbs up like button here share it if you feel like more women need to know it Drop the name of a woman below. I think we all need a little bit of pep talk. And then I'm going to see you on Sunday to the party. I would be so happy. Or in my DMs if you want to join the six-week one-on-one with me or um, any other option to work with me. All right, girls. I love you so much. And then enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.